Welcome to CC in Midday News. I'm your host, Captain and Christian, and here are some of your top stories for today, April 27th. Trump hints at canceling the coronavirus press briefings. Expecting dramatic and drastic decrease in the coronavirus deaths, hospitalizations as well by the end of May. Biden rips the stimulus packages labeled big businesses as greedy. And Maryland GOP governor says the state received hundreds of calls asking if it was okay to ingest Clorox after Trump's disinfectant remarks. And amongst mounting speculation, South Korea says Kim Jong-un is alive and well. And last but not least, once again, Pastor Tony Spell defies the law wearing ankle bracelet in Sunday services were packed. Let's get to the news. President Donald Trump wrote on Twitter Saturday that the daily coronavirus briefings were not worth the time and effort after his remarks on injecting disinfectant drew criticism earlier this week during an absence at yesterday's White House coronavirus press briefing conference the commander-in-chief posted two tweets attacking the media for asking hostile questions at the daily briefing and spreading fake news posting on Twitter last night the president wrote what is the purpose of having a White House news conference when the media asks nothing but hostile questions and then refuses to report the truth and facts accurately. Deborah Briggs said in an interview late Saturday that she is expecting a dramatic decrease in the coronavirus deaths and hospitalizations by the end of May. She said, and I quote, we believe that both the hospitalization, the ICU need, and frankly, the number of people who have succumbed to the disease will be dramatically decreased by the end of May. The White House Coronavirus Task Force responded coordinator said on the Fox News channel with Walter Reed. The cases are different issues because now we're expanding more and more testing. And remember, our testing was very much a prioritized to the people who really needed it for decision making to people who were in the hospital, people who were sick, the frontline responders, and nurses. Her comments come as the number of states move to reopen some businesses starting this weekend, this past weekend rather, governors across the country are grappling with when and how to ease the restrictions put in place to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Public health experts have warned that reopening too soon could result in a second wave of the virus. Former Vice President Joe Biden took aim at the coronavirus stimulus package in an interview with Politico calling corporate America greedy as hell. The presumptuous Democratic nominee said that the next package should be a hell of a lot bigger and included or includes aids for cities and states to avert layoffs of teachers, police officers, and firefighters. The most recent package passed by Congress last week excluded cities and state aid. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, Republican out of Kentucky, suggested that states should instead be allowed to declare bankruptcy. Of the major banks and corporations, Joe Biden said, this is the second time we've bailed their asses out, saying like big banks like Wells Fargo are only alive due to the American taxpayer. Biden has also pointed to what he said 
was his frequent contact with governors and mayors throughout the country in 09 to monitor their spending of funds. There is no coordination. There is no accountability. Come on, the guy wants or waits to hold up money because he wants to make sure his name is on the checks, Biden said. Despite Biden's criticism of the bills, he's refrained from directly criticizing Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Democrat out of California, and Senator Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer of New York. Maryland's Governor Larry Hogan, a Republican, commented on Sunday of a wrong message being sent following the uh, President Donald Trump's controversial remark about disinfectant and the coronavirus last week, pointing out that his state has received hundreds of calls from residents wondering that if it was safe to ingest cleaning products during a Thursday press conference. Trump questioned whether it would be possible to ingest a disinfectant into the human body to combat the coronavirus. Health experts and companies cleaning products as well as many elected officials quickly warned the public against attempting to ingest or inject disinfectant as an action that could lead to serious illness and possible death. The president later claimed that his remarks was sarcastic and has since shared advice via Twitter from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention that warned against using disinfectant such in such a manner. But Hogan took the issue with his remarks in an interview with ABC this week on Sunday. South Korea continues to pour water on mountain speculations about the health of North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un telling CNN he is alive and well. Our government position is firm, Moon Chong-in. The top foreign policy advisor to South Korean President Moon tells that Kim Jong-un is alive and well. He has been staying in a Providence area since April 13th. No suspicious movement has been detected. The questions were raised about Kim's well-being after he missed the celebration of his grandfather's birthday on April 15th. He had been seen four days before at a Politburo meeting, according to North Korean state media. CNN reported earlier in the week that the United States is not an intelligence that Kim is in grave danger after surgery, according to a U.S. official. Another U.S. official told CNN on Monday that the concern about Kim's health is credible. And once again, Reverend Tony Spell is in the news for flirting with death and because he has defied authorities yet again and jammed people into his church despite being on house arrest. Spell displays his ankle bracelet to his congregation saying that it was a crying shame that people have to hide. Unlike most responsible religious leaders, he has not been performing uh, services virtually. Shockingly, Spell uh, blurted out that his congregation is practicing social distancing because if they were not self-quarantined in the same house, they were told not to touch. That's not social distancing. It means physically being at least six feet away, which they were not. Uh, As the 
pesky problem that Spell was arrested for allegedly trying to run over a protester and placed a home con- and placed on home confinement. Well, Baton Rouge Central Police Chief Roger uh, told TMZ that it will not be up to the judge on whether he picked up or not and what his punishment will be. One thing is clear, Spell will continue to defy the law, doctors and scientists, as he puts his entire congregation at risk in a state where the coronavirus has exploded and caused misery and death. Once again, thank you for watching CCN Midday News. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that notification button so you will never miss another news update. Have a great day. Peace.